Good evening everybody, or afternoon, or morning, wherever you're watching this, whatever time of day you're watching it. Um, so, a bit of an update. People have asked us what's wrong with the van. So, I am going to try and put a video together now of the little bits and bobs that's wrong with it. It's nothing major, apart from the door that won't lock. Um, so, we've done little videos of each little problem, and hopefully it will help anybody else who's got a, a new van or auto trail or whatever else and you know you can compare problems and see if you know double check that you haven't got the same problems and so i'm going to add the videos now and just watch them and hit the comment below and if you've got the same problem or you've come across that in the past or just go and double check your van just in case and i'll be back with you after these videos cheers so, first problem is this bed. When you lift it up, slide it out to make it into the double. The first time we did it, we went to get to climbing bed and that collapsed. And basically all it is, they've glued it, but look how much screw was into the wood. About a mil, two mils, which is absolutely a waste of time. So basically just being glued. So that needs making reinforcing. No, I'm just showing that. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's I'll, how I'll, much is going in? Hardly look, any. Nothing. So I don't understand how. So that's problem number one. So that's scratched now, all down there because. Yeah, that's scratched there. That panel. So not, night one of using the van, and that's that's what's, what's happened. happened. So we've not been able to actually use that bed. Use the bed as how we want to use it. Number two, drop down bed. Second night, work first night, put it away. Second night, come and get in bed last night, 10 o'clock. Nothing. It's clicking. Doing something, you can hear it clicking. But the bed is just. But it won't move. Not moving. Which is not good when we're going away next weekend for a week. Nothing. Nothing's coming down. So again. Or up. Not moving. So again, one of us I had, to, on the had to sleep sofa. on this sofa last night, which wasn't very pleasant really. In fact, you've got a flooring end. I yeah. could have made that bed up down there, but it was too much fighting about. Right. Problem three. This chair arm worked on the way down. Should click down in there, push back up and then put it into place. But it doesn't. You can hear a click there, just falls down. So it's sat like that. That's the only position you could have it in. Don't hold into place. Which is another annoying thing. So we're just about to leave the site. I'm sweeping out the van. And we've taken the carpets out on this trip because it were wet with the field. And I've just seen this. So this is all bubbled up. Now it may be, it's be as it's, how it's been laid, but it's still not good. Still needs sorting out. I'm just hoping there's no damp underneath it or anything. So, number five for the list. The next thing is the flap for the blue. That shouldn't be like that. It's been like that since we picked it up. We didn't notice until we set off and put some fuel in. And I opened the door. And it does that, which is not right. So, like the the petrol one, diesel one, has got like a bit of a spring on it. This one has nothing. So it just comes open every time. As soon as you open the door. No, see if you, you know, you catch that when you shut in the door. Yeah, I know we were off. told to keep an eye on that, but yeah, still. Yeah. That shouldn't happen. It shouldn't just come open. It should be. No. It looks like there might be a little catch there or something that's not working. Yeah. But you would have thought it had a bit of a spring to stop it just opening like that. Look, don't stop it, you know. No, not good. So that's not that's not good. Right, so this is the issue with the door, if I've not already shown you. So I'm closing it. Give it a good close. Proper shot. Lock it. Double lock it. Try and open it. Yeah, not too bad. 
a little bit harder and it's open now that is not supposed to be like that right I'll do that again just to prove that it were locked I've locked it right I'll do it again lock the van press it again twice double locked try the handle feels locked pull it open now let's try and unlock it ridiculous that was the other thing I didn't mention on the video the light there's water in that light or condensation one or two so yep yeah, those were the little issues we've had not major problems I know but apart from the door um, the drop down bed we solved that it was um, a fuse that had blown but when we went to look for in the fuse box it was none of those fuses and it turned out the fuse for the drop down bed was on the underneath the seat opposite and there were two fuses in there and it you know one of them was bl had blown so yeah that's that's all sorted so as for the um the door that's not that's not good that's not good if you you know lock your van and try and open the door yes it won't open give it a little tug harder and it comes open which is that's not good at all you know you can't we don't feel safe leaving it anywhere and um they didn't want to look it till 30th of may but we just said it's not fit for purpose and then all of a sudden there were a cancellation they could look at it so i'm taking it up in the morning and leaving it there but i've got we've got to go to gloucester but hey ho that's how it is we live in cornwall we can't pick and choose where we buy a van I know you should sort of buy it somewhere nearby, but our nearest place is probably Plymouth, Exeter, which is an hour and 45 minutes away anyway. So it is what it is. It is what it is. You, you know, if, you, if you're going to buy from one dealer, you're restricted to what van you can buy, aren't you? So, yeah, we're taking it back tomorrow. Hopefully, they'll sort it out pretty sharpish. And then we can... Um, enjoy the van because at the moment we're so disillusioned with it we just don't <laughs> we don't want to go anywhere in it the other thing is when we bought the van we bought it at a show in exeter and we did ask the question you know warranty work and stuff like that and yeah they told us yeah if you can find somewhere down near in cornwall you can um, get them to the warranty for you and then, you know, all sorted out between us. But the fact is, if we're totally honest, nobody wants to do warranty work. Basically, there's one place in Cornwall, which is like, um, comes under the auto trail umbrella. And they weren't interested in doing it, to be fair. So there's no money in it for them. And that's all they're bothered about is making money. So, which, which you can't blame them, can you? So, um, yeah, and we had some work done with them before and they were absolutely shocking. So, you know, we had no confidence to take it there anyway. So we're going to have to take it back to Gloucester. And that's just how it is, isn't it? One of my major worries is the floor. So we've got that bubble, yeah, in the floor. And I don't think, I don't think it is actually a major problem. But to me, that floor has been laid before everything else. So everything else has been sat on top of it. So how are they going to solve that problem with the bubble? They're just going to cali fudge it, as I say, aren't they? So that's one thing I've got to look out for, I think. So going back to the chair arm, we have um, a conflict of interest. Well, is it? I don't know if that's the right word. But um, so the dealer... He's saying, yeah, it's um, a Ford issue. Um, Ford is saying, no, auto trail have changed the seats, so it's not our problem. And now he's saying, so I'm going to get auto trail to speak to Ford and sort it out. But my problem is with the dealer. The dealer has to sort it out, so hopefully... I'm hoping they're going to saw it out. Anybody else had this problem? Ford, it's your problem. 
Auto Trail, it's your problem. Ford are saying that Auto Trail changed the seat, so it's not their problem. Oh my God. Just sort it out. Ah! Right, I'm sorry about the rant, but you know how it is. You've got a motor home, you spent a lot of money, you want it sorting out, don't you? You know, we the only reason we swapped in the first place with the, oh, we've got an eight, eight year old motor home. It's going to start costing us money, which you had. So let's get a new one under warranty. It can all be sorted out. And now you, you've got the same issues. And now you've got people arguing about who's liable for what. So um, hit the like button, people. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you've had any issues with your new vans and what we should do and your advice to us. Everything accepted and, you know, welcomed. So, Woody's in her, <laughs> Woody's in Marbella. Don't worry about us, Woody. We're sat here in bloody freezing cold in Cornwall. But, um, yeah, so hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, help us along the way, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <music>